As the war continues unabated in Ukraine, voices of dissent are now slowly rising across Russia opposing the partial mobilization. At least 100 people have been detained in the southern Russian region of Dagestan. The slowly emerging protests highlight the people's anger with Russian President Vladimir Putin, who has ordered it to send hundreds of thousands of more people to fight in Ukraine. This is Russia's first military mobilization since World War II, and it has triggered protests in dozens of cities across the country. <laughs> Scores of people scuffled with police officers as they shouted no to war. Such unauthorized rallies are illegal under Russia's anti-protest laws and are a rare sight in Russia. Now, According to a rights group called OVD Information, more than 2,000 people have been detained at anti-mobilization rallies in Russia since Putin announced the drive. There are also several reports which reveal how Russians with no military service or parents of young children have been issued with draft papers for Russia's partial mobilization, despite guarantees from the Russian defense minister that they should be excluded. Meanwhile, following the Russian president Putin's announcement of partial mobilization of troops, long queues of cars could be seen at Russia-Georgia border. Georgia is one of the few neighboring countries that Russians can enter without needing to apply for a visa. The checkpoint has become a popular route used by Russians who are attempting to leave the country fearing the draft. I expect martial law to be declared as a result of unification with those eastern parts of Ukraine to Russia that will be followed by a global mobilization. For me personally, I see neither ideological nor legal grounds for myself to get involved in this war. Now, according to regional Russian authorities, around 2,300 private vehicles were waiting at one crossing into Georgia. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.